Okay, we're, actually we're in my basement this time, um, you know, with my uh, broken leg and shattered ankle. It was not easy getting down my basement until, until now. Uh, now I can move around, now I'm, I'm actually getting back a lot of my moving ability, so this is good. And I can go, you know, up and down the stairs without having to slide on my posterior. Um, so, so that's a big step forward, but you don't care about that. Let's talk about... Um, this course okay um with your work cited to be honest with you i'm i'm confused um and i'll tell you why some of you did things the way that they're supposed to be done on a lot of your entries on moodle they were not the way things are supposed to be done now, some people put their, their work on a, uh, like a Word document and then transferred it to Moodle. And if you did that, Moodle changed it, okay? Or those of you that just sent me a Word document, when I copied and pasted it onto Moodle, Moodle changed it. And see, I can't respond to just a Word document. I have to copy it and paste it onto Moodle. So it changed it. So what I don't know is if you do know how to set up a work cited, okay? I gave you all the information in last week's lesson. Um, I, you know, I showed you how to do it, um, and I told you there was a good sample on page 524 and 525 was, was a good, well-developed sample. And, yeah, I got a lot of light down here. But you can see here what it looks like. You see the work, the word work cited on top, and then you see the beginning of the first entry over at the margin, and then the second line of that entry is indented six spaces, and then the, the second entry is right under that. That's all the way over to the margin, and then each of the six or seven lines under that are indented six spaces, and then the next entry goes all the way over to the margin, and the line under that is indented six or seven spaces. And those are all in alphabetical order by the first thing in the entry. So here's what it's supposed to look like. Now, notice the spacing is the same all the way through. There is no additional space between entries. So, you know, you see the first one is two lines. Then there's not an additional space before you start the second entry. Okay, that's what your works cited is supposed to look like. That's why it's reverse indentation, because the first word in each entry, the first line in each entry, starts at the margin, and then each succeeding line is indented. Okay, so, you know, look closely at this. Now, again, this is in your book on 524 and 525. If you're one of these people that tried to get along without a book, then go online and type in MLA Works Cited Format. And I got to believe you'll get something like this that comes up. Or you'll get a page that's all about setting up MLA Works Cited, and it will show you how to do every individual form. I came across one, and I actually sent it to a student whose book... Um, was was different from ours for some you know it was, it was just different ours is the says mla update on it and i was not aware that rules for writers had two copies one that's an mla update and one that doesn't have any mla stuff in so that was my fault that this one person got the wrong book uh so it didn't have this in but here's what your work cited is supposed to look like and again the first word in each entry these are alphabetical order so you know going down the first word in each entry is in alphabetical order coming down all the way down so i can't tell what the letters are because you know this is backwards to me but uh you know it would be like a b c d e f g that's the order that these go in again notice there's no numbers and none of you put numbers in front of yours but the big mistakes you had that i saw in last week's you know and the work that you did for me this week was that when you set up your work cited you did not uh do reverse indenting some of you did no indenting, so you lined the whole thing up evenly all the way down the page. Um, some of you not only did that, but then you you didn't have just a regular space under here. You had a, 
a double double space. So this is this is all what's called double space. A lot of you did an additional double space before you started the next entry. That's wrong. It's supposed to look like this, okay? Now, did Moodle change it? I don't know. I don't know, okay? But here's what it's supposed to look like. So this is what yours should look like when you are done with it. Um, and a lot of you need to do a lot of work on your work cited unless it was Moodle that messed it up. But also, a couple of you had the first line at the margin and then the second line indented like two spaces. It's supposed to be indented six spaces, okay? That's the way to do it. So this is what a work cited should look like. This is what you want it to... This is how, how you want to do it, okay? Um, and again, no additional spacing. It's spaced the same way all the way through the whole thing. It's in alphabetical order. It's reverse indented. Uh, nobody put numbers before their entries, so that's good, okay? Um, so, you know, let's make sure we get this right, okay? Now, our papers are going to be due... Um, I'm looking at a calendar here, and May 1st should be a Tuesday, which is the last week of the semester. Um, and what I will do uh, next week is I will give you my home address. I will want all of you to mail or bring your papers to my house. I don't want them in my mailbox at Trocare, okay? I do not want them emailed to me. You can see what Moodle does. I do not want them emailed to me. So I'll give you my home address, and I will want them mailed to my home or brought to my home. I'll give you that address next week, in, in next week's video and in next week's lesson, okay? So um, that gives you a good idea. After next week, uh, after we talk next week, you'll have just under two weeks to finish your paper. And next week, we'll go into how you document each idea that you're taking from somebody else, okay? But here's what I want you to do for this week, okay? All of you did a pre-writing and a rough draft for an argument. And again, an argument means you are making your point, a couple of you were kind of middle of the road. That's not an argument. You can't give both sides. Or if you give your side and then you say something about the other side, you have to, what you say about the other side, you have to disprove. You have to debunk. You have to show why you do not go along with it. Okay? So we talked about perfect before. I want these copies of your argument to be perfect. And most of you... Many of you, I shouldn't say most of you, many of you were not very good at developing the points in your argument. You used one or two sentences. No, you have to develop the points in your argument. So you should try for a five-paragraph essay from what you've done where you have an introductory paragraph, at least three good reasons why you're arguing for what you're arguing for, and develop each of those, each one in a separate paragraph, and then something to tie it all together. You can't just give the, the three reasons and leave it hanging. You need to state it again as to this is what I'm holding, this is what I'm saying, and I've shown you why, or this is what I'm saying, and here are the reasons boom, boom, that you've already developed, but you can repeat that in your conclusion. That's okay. That's what you need to do for next week, um, Wednesday, okay? That will be April 8th. A week from today, yeah, today's the 11th, that'll be April 18th. So for April 18th, I need you to do that. Also for April 18th, please pay attention to this. I, I need you to be working on your research paper. I need you to actually be about trying to write part of it, okay? So I would like you to write out um, on Moodle at least, not the first paragraph, okay, but a paragraph a little further in, maybe a second, a third, a fourth paragraph, where you've started to take ideas from somebody else. And where you are at the finish of an idea from somebody else, just put in parentheses, um, uh, like um, direct quote or indirect quote or paraphrase. Just put that. I'll explain to you next week what should go in those parentheses. But for now... Just do that so that you get the idea that 
every idea you take from somebody else, you have to tell where it comes from. Whether it's a direct quote or a paraphrase or a summary, you still have to tell where it comes from. So at the end of that idea in your paper, and it might be at the end of a paragraph, it might you might have two or three in the same paragraph, whatever, okay? Most of your paper is taken from somebody else's ideas. So most of your paper, you're going to have to tell where ideas come from. So, in at, again, at the end of what you're taking from somebody else, even if it's all in your own words, if it's somebody else's ideas, you're going to have to tell where it comes from. But just in parentheses, at the end of that idea, put down paraphrase, or if it's a direct quote, have quotation marks around it and say direct quote, or if it's a summary, then just say summary, okay? So a good, full, well-developed paragraph from your actual research paper. So I'm not saying you have to have the whole research paper done next week, but I want you to get going. And you've already given me something for that initial introductory paragraph, so this should be a paragraph a little further on. Get busy writing it so it's not all hanging over your head at the last minute, okay? And get me a paragraph where you have taken information from somebody else. Now, if that paragraph's only two or three sentences long, I'm saying, "Uh uh-uh. I want a really developed paragraph, you know, so make sure it's got a minimum of five or six sentences in it. It might have 22 sentences in it. I don't care, you know, but a minimum of five or six so that you can show me that you're developing an idea and you might have two or three places in there where you've taken an idea from someplace else. That's okay. Just at the end of that idea, take from somebody else in parentheses, paraphrase or direct quote or summary. Questions, you know how to get me, okay? Have a good week and keep up the good work. Uh, And again, give some more work to your work cited so that we all know it's right. Okay, thanks.